Hey Froggers, this is JJ the Frog Girl, and today I'm introducing you to the Amazon Milk Frog. So I have a couple of adults here. I've got a male here and a female. And this is actually the first tree frog that I ever started breeding. Um, it was completely by accident, and a very pleasant accident, of course. Anyway, I was hooked at that point, and the rest, as they say, is history. But these guys are a, a species of frog that I do currently breed, and I actually do have uh, juveniles available right now. And of course, if you're interested in that, you can send me a Facebook message and uh, find out more about them. But some really neat things about the Amazon milk frog. So they are from the Amazon, South America, and they are called a milk frog because they secrete a milky substance from their skin. So I do not recommend licking these frogs. Milk frogs are a great beginner frog. If you're looking for something that's hardy and easy to take care of, these guys are awesome. Plus, they're a great display frog. A lot of tree frogs hide under leaves. These guys are out all the time. Now they are not nearly as active during the day, but they will be out if you're looking for something, you know, you wanna show your friends, hey, look at my frog, these guys are a great one. They do like live plants, although you can do fake plants. But the big thing with them is you'll notice they're a heavier frog. So if you have a piece of cork bark, some driftwood, anything like that that you can put in your enclosure, they are gonna very much appreciate that. Now, I did say they're a beginner frog. That being said, I don't recommend getting them really, really small. The mistake that a lot of breeders make is they sell them super small. The reason is, and I get this, they eat a lot. They are very aggressive eaters, they eat a lot. So obviously, some breeders are wanting to get them out the door as quickly as they can. The problem is, as babies, these guys are not a beginner frog. They are very delicate, and unfortunately, there are a lot that perish when they are sent out too small. So I do not do that. But as older frogs, a great beginner frog. They live eight plus years, so be prepared to have them around for a while. I don't recommend anything smaller than an 18 by 18 by 24 enclosure for two to three adults. They are a big frog, they move around a lot at night, so you'll want something pretty good size for them. Food, they like crickets. People make the mistake, they think, oh, it's a big frog, I can feed it my dubia roaches. Do not do that. In fact, any tree frogs, I really don't recommend dubias for. The dubias have a very hard exoskeleton, and if you end up feeding your frogs dubias, you may end up with a prolapse other health issues, your frog may even starve to death because you're seeing the dubias disappearing because they're hiding and your frog's not getting any food. So I just really recommend crickets as a very good staple. Temperatures. The adults actually handle temperatures higher. They like mid 80s during the day. So in my enclosure, I put a basking bulb, like a 40 to 50 watt basking bulb so that they can get under there if they need to. Otherwise, upper 70s everywhere else. At night, low 70s is a good temperature for them. Humidity, they actually like very high. So I do 70 up to even 100% humidity with these guys. Now babies can dry out really easily, so you have to be very cautious with them. Where these guys as adults, if it were to get a little bit drier, say 50 to 60%, your adults will be fine just for not a long period of time. In my opinion, the Amazon milk frog is probably one of the most interesting and unique tree frog species. The big reason why is when they come out of the water, they look completely different from when they become an adult. And I'm gonna show you that right now. So these are some of my newer babies. This little guy right here, he has been out of the water for just a couple of days. And you can see he's still got a little bit of his tail his coloration is just different, kind of coppery color. And also you can see how small they really are when they come out of the water. They're just tiny. This baby milk frog has been out of the water for about a month. And you can see already how his coloration was so different from the other one. And of course how much he's grown as well. Something else that's really cool about the Amazon milk frogs is their coloration. Now obviously, to just look at them, they're so uniquely colored. They've got this brown and gray and taupe and white, all this different color going on, but they also have blue toe pads. So I'll see if I can really get to show you the blue here on the toe pads. 
Also, the inside of their mouths is blue. If your frog has a prolapse, of course we never want that to happen, but if it did, the prolapse is blue. So these frogs, I'm just telling you, they are just super cool. If you're looking for a frog that is completely unique and unlike anything else, the Amazon milk frog is your frog. When it comes to sexing your milk frogs, they're actually easier than a lot of tree frog species, and I'm going to show you why. Now, like a lot of tree frogs, the females are larger than the males by a pretty significant amount, about an inch, actually. But with milk frog males, so you will have nuptial pads during breeding season, but when it's not breeding season, and actually, can you see that? So there's a nuptial pad right there, that dark, fleshy area behind their thumb. So that's one way you can tell. But another way is the males actually have visible vocal sacs. So I'm gonna see if I can get this guy to cooperate with me here. If you pull back the skin, I know, buddy. Okay, so, okay. So you can see, there we go, kind of that darker fleshy area, that is a vocal sac. So that is another way that you can tell that this is a male. And you can really see it here. Oh, he's going to start. <laughs> he might start calling for me since I'm upsetting him a little bit. Anyway, you can see very, very well there. That is a vocal sac right here. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the Amazon milk frog today. A great frog, one of my favorites. So if you're interested in finding out more, getting some information, or purchasing a frog, an Amazon milk frog, you can send me a private message on my Facebook page. And I really appreciate you watching. Be sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and as always, happy frogging.